Fresh Mac started quite a number of years ago in New Zealand as a primarily domestic focused business and then about 10 or 12 years ago Fresh Max branched out and acquired some businesses in Australia. They saw some big opportunities in Australia and so they came across. Since then we've really been growing through both organic growth but also through acquisitions of other businesses as we've expanded domestically here in Australia. We are one of the leading fresh fruit companies across Australia and New Zealand now. Um, and we are very, very specialised in six core categories here in Australia. That philosophy of specialisation across Australia and New Zealand is sort of what underpins our business. And at the same time, we, we're really, really keen on nurturing the people inside our business so that we've got this blend of experience in the organisation, but also the new people coming in that continue on the growth and expansion that we've experienced over the last sort of 10 years or so, and more rapidly in the last three years. In Australia, we handle six key fruit lines. So here in Brisbane, we actually handle our ripened products. So our bananas, our mangoes and avocados are the three products that we handle here. And they're really sourced predominantly out of Queensland, but also out of the Northern Territory. Down in Melbourne, we have the more traditional sort of Southern crops. So uh, stone fruit, apples and pears and citrus. Of all the things we focus the team on, quality is one of the big differentiators for Fresh Max. We have quality control representatives out in the field, so actually on farms, helping farmers with propagation techniques, as well as just ensuring that we're packing the right product into the trays and getting it from the farm down into our ripening facilities or into our hubs, which are located in all the metropolitan centres. Then from there, on receival, we do a QC check, so a quality control check of the product at that point when it arrives at our distribution hub. And then again, we, we quality control the product as we move out into our retail or wholesale partners. Generally, we're facilitating the movement of product between our retail partners or our wholesale customers through from our suppliers. So most of our teams in our warehousing operations are really ensuring that the orders that we have from our partners are fulfilled accurately with the right quality product so that there's a steady, steady flow of product moving through the supply chain. In this facility in, in Brisbane, we handle about 1.6 million bananas every week and about 800,000 avocados. So look, a really huge amount of, of product coming through. That's a lot of smashed avocado, a lot of uh, banana splits, I suppose you could say. <laughs> Welcome to the Fresh Max Brisbane ripening facility where we receive avocados and bananas and mangoes from each of the major growing regions around the country. We have strict quality assurance measures in place on arrival inspections as well as pre-delivery assessments. We have also gone through a major expansion here, taking it from 5,000 square metres to 10,000 square metres. So here we are in one of our state-of-the-art banana ripening rooms. Product comes down green from North Queensland and over a process from five to seven days, we ripen them and then they're ready for consumers to eat. We ripen 1.6 million bananas every week in these rooms. growing really, really rapidly. The transition of our business between being a purely domestic focused business into an international business over the last three years in particular has been, been amazing for us. Look, at the same time, we've had some really, really great achievements by the team in Australia. We won Marketer of the Year for the Produce Marketing Association last year, which Fresh Max New Zealand, about three or four years earlier, we won the same award. So twice now, Fresh Max has really innovated in that marketing space, which is a big part of, of our business. Another thing that we're really, really proud of is that probably about five years ago, we actually changed the industry with a 15 kilo banana box, which gave growers a much more efficient product in terms of the packaging and also just freight efficiencies and that sort of thing. That has actually moved through the whole industry is now the industry standard that's been implemented. 
the big part of what we're planning on for the future is just increase the expansion in our core categories. We're also continuing to invest in our infrastructure. Leadership means a lot to us. We think that as an organisation we challenge the norms, so we challenge the way people have done things. As we move forward, this whole notion of innovation, challenging what's currently been done in fresh produce and the fruit sector is really what's going to drive us going forward and what's really going to make us different from other organisations. It's, it's really getting that blend right. You don't want to move too far away from your base, but also you want to make sure that you're getting that piece really right. After the break, in this food production special edition of Industry Leaders, Jenny Dardellis joins us. She's the owner and MD of Marathon Foods, a business with humble beginnings in the 60s in a Melbourne garage with just $210 working capital.